Well, I mean, the reason we're doing actually, we, me and Kenny had the idea of doing something like this all the way back in February, March this year, or 2013, and uh, we actually just wanted to do it to basically to not to waste any time, you know, to see if we could record something in between touring and stuff like that, which which is what we've done, you know, but we wanted actually to start in April, but um, it wasn't until August we actually got together because of all the summer festivals and, and people with other places to do whatever they, their individual uh, schedules and stuff like that. So, I mean, we, we spent like a week in August um, where we wrote the four new songs on the album and then went straight in to do the basic tracks after that and then the Motherland tour started, you know, so now we just, then we went into the studio again in, in um, October, October, November to finish, finish the stuff off. And um, the reason why we're doing this was also another reason why we're doing old material is that we just try to see how these songs would sound like today uh, when they went through Jacob Hansen's hands and also because what we've done on the, the last couple of albums we've done, the, the two previous albums, we've... Uh, <laughs> the previous albums, we we spent a lot of time detuning the guitar because it gives a, a got much fatter sound, you know. Um, right now we're looking at Ken Hammer's ass. Well, okay. Now we, we try to, you know, detune the, um, the guitars. It, 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 it gives a much thicker sound to it. And that's, that's the way, no, you know, Jacob normally works. And uh, so we just wanted to see how these songs would sound like when they went through Jacob's hands. But I mean, to begin with, we actually talked about doing some acoustic stuff, doing some covers, doing some re-recordings, some new stuff, and uh, <laughs> etc. And um, but at the end of the day, we decided just to do fine eight songs from the forgotten period. I'd say some some of the stuff from the 90s, late 90s, and stuff like that, and the beginning of Elastic Gate. Because we didn't really want to touch uh, songs like Future World, Red Hot and Heavy, the, the, the albums we did in the 80s and the beginning of the 90s. So that was the whole idea. And then we just wrote four new songs. And then we decided to put some DVD material, um, bring some DVD material out as well with the album. So that's the concept. I mean, we, we knew we wouldn't have time to write uh, like 12 new songs for an album. So that's that's why we did it like this. Just to get keep the train rolling, you know, uh, you know, and we'll, we'll go out and do some gigs in 2014 based on that album as well. We didn't have to do that, but we just felt like we didn't want to waste any time, that's why we did it. Well, the concept, the whole idea behind the DVD thing was that to bring some, maybe some some old stuff from the private gems, you know, that I had on the V8 uh, recordings, but um, some of that stuff didn't turn out as good as we thought it would be. Uh, so it's, it's a kind of a mix between maybe some old stuff, some interviews, some uh, we, we brought this genius guy along on the Motherland tour, you know, uh, and he filmed a lot. So it's going to be like a, a kind of a road movie, I guess. I mean, we got some stuff from when we played back in. We got some stuff there. We got some stuff for the Motherland tour. We got some stuff from Japan, you know. So, um, you know, to give people a little, to, 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 let, to let the fans see what, what actually goes on on the tour bus, what goes on behind the stage. and and stuff like that because I remember remember myself when I was a kid I would have loved to see that you know and I guess these days it's it's, it's a bit easier to do it um, than it was back then I don't know. but I mean it's always fun to see what goes on backstage you know and how how's the guy end up how, how do they react to in, in certain situations and stuff like that so we try to give people a little bit of everything really. the thing is that you, um, when you're talking about a new album you all there, there are certain periods where you write um, and then there are periods where I don't really, personally speaking, don't really touch my guitar or write melodies. It's like when I know I'm going to do a new album, we're going to do a new album. That, that's something... I mean, the ideas comes comes to me, I don't know where they come from, but, but when I start to focus on doing a new album, that, that's when the ideas comes along. But we already got, got some stuff written here for the next album. And sometimes you get stuff that um, we think this is going to be great, then it might not end up with the album anyway, but we, we, we got something something to, to start with, you know. But normally the way we do it is that we, we gather together. I mean, these days, uh, the whole band is, is pretty much split throughout Europe. You know, one guy lives in Spain, one in Sweden, 
between different parts of Denmark. So we gather together, you know, like for three or four or five days in some rehearsal camp. And normally me and Kenny, before we do that, me and Kenny will sit together and, and, and write some stuff just with two acoustic guitars and stuff like that. You know, that, that's, that's how we normally do. But as, I mean, 2013, we've been very busy doing this album and writing some new songs. So as for the next real studio album, I'd say we're, we're not ready to go and record that yet, you know, but I, we'll, we'll be that. We'll, I expect us to be that, you know, during 2014, we'll start recording it. That's the plan.